neat stuff, neat stuff. Hi there, Scary Gary. Glad you guys came back for another week. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about why we like Loretta 2O. And actually, original Loretta and Loretta 2O were exactly the same models. They were just two years apart. Uh, they are a bunkhouse. And with Mary Lou and I, you kind of wonder, why would you want a bunkhouse? Mostly it's because of the grandkids and it's been able to travel with family and allow more people. Because this specific bunkhouse has very large bunks. I mean, we've we've actually slept seven people. You know, we've got eight people in this trailer at one time. Now, it's crowded, granted, but in the bunks themselves, it was very easy to put an adult and a kid, an adult and a kid. You have seven grandkids. We have one grandson that's 22, married, and he's been camping with us. Then we have, my oldest daughter has twins, my middle daughter has two, and my youngest daughter she has twins that are about a year and a half right now. We're planning to take a trip to Alaska, and when we go there, my youngest daughter and family are going to fly up there and be with us. So I know the girls, the youngest daughter's twins, are going to be sleeping on that top bunk, and I'm a little concerned about they could fall out. So I kind of thought, what should I do? How can I do this? And I, you know, I said, what about like a cargo net? And sure enough, they make a cargo net that is just about the perfect size when it's stretched out that it will cover it. So I set some D-rings around it on the, the base, which was very simple because it was wood. On the sides, I found where the studs were at in the sides and I put it on the sides. Now on the top, the studs was quite a ways away from it, but there's this metal rail that is what the curtain that slides across. And I just took the, some of the screws out of it and put uh, the D hooks in that. Now I've got a way that I can hook it all the way around. But the straps, the little plastic um, latches that come with the cargo net that I got, they're just extremely too big. So, I got some little snap rings and got all this on Amazon. There's going to be notes in the bottom of this and they can flip right over the top of it and they can open and close very simple. And I basically set 10 snap rings around it and it will keep the kids definitely up there till you let them out. So there is one other major factor that I like about having the bunks up there. It's, it gives us a storage place. Um, there's not that much place in, in trailer, and, and you constantly you have something, you open it up, you want to put it somewhere, and you, what do you have to do? And I mean, we, we almost always, when it's just Mary Lou and I traveling, we have the bottom bunk up, and we use that space to keep the kennel for Finley in there. And we keep other stuff underneath there, because it, it's this specific trailer would hold an actual kayak if you wanted to because it would slide out in that place and then we put things on the top bunk too that is kind of the gist of why this is going to be a neat stuff today is because when we put stuff on the top of this and we go down the road the things bounce and guess what has happened more than once is things jump over the edge and they land in between the the slide and then we don't know it's back there. And then we take the slide out and guess what happens. I've given you kind of a demonstration here, just throwing a Kleenex box down there. And you can see the Kleenex box didn't fare very well. One additional advantage of having a cargo net up there, it also helps with their second problem, which is the, the items jumping out of there. And I've set the, the netting up there and I pretty well keep it full time and I just pull it back to the one side so it allows you to reach around there put things because very seldom things bounce out of the side and come over they always come over the edge of it and then land behind the slide and then we pull the slide out and guess what we get a crushed Kleenex box or worse so 
I really think it is kind of a neat thing and it didn't hardly cost anything. Um, and it's given us a lot more space up there and it's gonna give us a lot more security when the kids are here. Now, there is a ladder here, which some of the older grandkids are gonna say, well, I can't get up there. Hey, these are snap rings. You just take them down, put it back up. And really, this doesn't need to be up there when the, the older grandkids are there. It only needs to be there when the younger ones are there, which can't use a ladder anymore. Well, I think it's neat stuff and I've had it up for probably about a month, couple trips, nothing's moved on it so far. I'm sure over time, some of the screws, I may have to do some work on them, but, but I really think it's neat stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed and I sure hope to see you next week. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Put the comments down below. Subscribe and you make me happy.